What up, peeps and peepets? Morbtron back today with more Ark Survival Evolved Vanilla-ish on Ragnarok. And I just want to thank you all so very much for all your support and prior episodes. If you like this one, do not forget to annihilate that like button right in the face and subscribe for more daily content. So today, my mission before starting the recording was to go tame a Dodecurus, and it has been quite an adventure. I have journeyed all over the map. Uh, so I tamed that little guy. Is it little because he's low level, low-ish level, under half? Um, at about mid-center landmass. Um, so right about 50 longitude, 30 latitude, or 35 latitude. Um, so, and getting it back to this point has been an adventure and a half. And um, especially since I don't have a compass or a GPS, I don't know which direction I'm traveling until the map updates. And it has been a nightmare getting home. I don't know where I am right now. I know that's the red tower. And if I can get to the red tower, I know I can get home. So that's my goal is to get to red tower. Um, but since I've been in the redwoods and in the snow biome so much, I have spotted this Dota Kyrus. It's level 140. I'm going to knock this guy out. Is in a ball form, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work. I don't want to hit it after it goes down either. I might actually kill it. Hopefully I don't, though. Hopefully I knock it out. But it's getting mighty bloody. Mighty, mighty bloody. Saw it getting chewed on by a bunch of terror birds. It went into ball form. It was already low on health. Give it some time to rest up a little bit. While I line up my hoofs with its face. We're going to give it some time between between uh, kicks to the face now. Because it is mighty, mighty bloody. Don't die on me, Dota Curious. Get knocked out. Man, it's so bloody. I really wish I had Super Spyglass to see if, like, if I was, in fact, going to knock it out, or if I should leave it be, hopefully let it regen its health enough and come back, like, build a little shack around it, maybe. Yeah. And I have the Majestic's health level, or, uh, melee leveled up to almost 1,500. Um... So, it's been quite an adventure. Um, my character level is 60, so that's, that's how long of an adventure this has been so far. Um, getting that fortitude pumped up, because it is cold here. Oh, right here it's fine. Right here it's 52. Um, but up in that direction, there's a biome called Murder Snow and Murder Murder Snow. In Murder, Murder Snow, it's negative 65, and you die very, very quickly. Uh, murder Snow is about negative 19, negative 20. And you still die pretty quick. With the cold. I think the Stodocurus is going to die. I don't think there's any chance I'm going to knock it out at this point in time.
And unless I knock it out in the next kick or two, it's going to die. And kick. Oh god, it's like it's like I'm rolling the dice every single time I right click. Yeah. Oh, just go to sleep. You know you want to. It'd be much better Dodecurus than the one I tamed up already. And I killed it. <sighs> yep, okay. Well at least I've got that one. I, I tamed up a uh, Argent as well. That just kind of opportunistic. It was starting to attack me, so I booted it in the face and fell asleep. So, uh, we're going to get these two back to base. Um, if I run into any other high level Dota Curus, hopefully I can knock them out instead of kill them. Um, so, hopefully, they're not getting munched on by a bunch of terror birds like that one was. Um, but yeah, we'll be our beast peeps. All right, ladies and gents, we are back, and this is going to be my new permanent base location. So me and Vinny, the last couple times we've started a series, actually, we've built a little, like, shelter base for us, for the both of us, and then we kind of branch out, both of us do, from there. So he is actually building just that way, down the hill a bit, um, over that ridge, on a little like natural farm type deal or a bunch of like sable root and um, carrots and things like that are growing in naturally, which is cool. I like that about this map. Um, and I'm building out here in the plains area along a neat, neat little cliff. Um, this should actually be a fairly big base location as well. I'm not very limited as far as like anything else goes. Resources out here are a little bit scarce as far as like wood and stone goes. Um, but there's metal, things like that. There's crystal over there in the river. Um, and I'll, I'm sure I'll discover more as time goes on. But there are a few dangers with living this close to the world scar as well. And that's not just from the wyverns. Uh, the wyverns kind of mind their own business, right? So they're over here. They're minding their own business. You kind of see them. That's about as close as they get. So, and I originally did want to build around this oasis here, or this little water dealio. But you can see there, there's a giga. That is the same giga, the same coloration anyway, so I think it's the same giga that we saw over there, past that ridge and down the hill on day one. So that means that giga wandered from way over there, right there which would put this little neat water area where I wanted to build right in that Giga's path um, and that's just too close for comfort not to mention it's really close to the Wyvern as well so that just wasn't gonna work so it should be pretty easy to keep the Giga away from uh, my base location up here just because of that ridge line um, and they'll just have tall perimeter walls uh, tall enough to where Giga won't be able to see over them so that is the plan ski but uh, we're going to start building the main kind of build area right now getting take care of the crafting area first and then expand around that so um, I already have the door I already, of course, have the floor as well. So this is going to be the main door into the crafting area. <clears throat> and then it's going to go up from there. It's going to be kind of a tower, again. Um, not so much a spire as on the Eternal server. Um, but more of just a, a tower. Simple, simpler tower. We're going to get right with a building. I'm not going to do a speedy up bit. Because I don't think I need to here. As much as I like speedy up bits, I also like to uh, have the opportunity to talk to you guys about, oops, stuff. Bam. 
So, um, as some of you know, I've been streaming on Twitch um, every day, except for Sundays, for quite a while. Um, I was streaming on YouTube to begin with, and I tried out Twitch for a little bit, was unsure about it, switched back to YouTube, and then realized I wanted to have a more casual, not PG scene. So that has to be on Twitch because I want my YouTube content to be PG. Um, but my Twitch content is completely whatever I feel like saying, which sometimes is bad language words. Um, so if you want to check out my Twitch streaming stuff, um, I don't do like, I don't do arc as a stream. Uh, and there's a reason for that. I love Ark. I think Ark is a great game. However, if I play, you know, if I record Ark, play Ark, and stream Ark, I, I, I want to prevent burning myself out, basically. You know, I don't want to get to a point where I need to record a video for the day, and I'm like, ugh, I gotta play Ark now. So boring, you know. I don't want to ever get that way with this game, because I like it, and the best way to continue to like the game is to enjoy it in moderation. So I actually don't play Ark um, much at all, like in my free time. Um, there's two reasons for that. One of them is I don't want to get burnt out on the game. You know, I don't want to have my attitude in my videos seem like I'm not interested in the game. So, and I'm, I'm never going to fake that for YouTube because even if you, you're good at faking it, even if you're a good actor or actress and, uh, can go put up kind of that fake, I'm having a good time vibe, it's not me. It's not me. I don't want to do that. So, if I'm having a good time, you guys are going to know it. If I'm not having a good time, you guys are going to know it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the whole reasoning as to why I won't stream ARC. Um, and there might be, you know, exceptions to that rule. I might do another special stream like I did my 12-hour stream when I hit 200 subs. Um... And to do a 12-hour stream, you basically have to include a lot of games. Otherwise, you're going to drive yourself mad. Um, so, it, they could, you know, a streaming arc could be a thing for, you know, the big, long, special streams. But won't ever be like a, a daily stream thing. So, in my daily streams over on Twitch, which my Twitch channel is just twitch.tv slash morbitron. It is not morbitron gaming like it is on YouTube here. Um, so if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go check it out. I start my streams always at 8 p.m. Central Time. Um, they, they will end at different times. You know, most of the time I try to stream until around midnight Central Time. So about four hours of streaming. Um, however, you know, if I'm not feeling it, um, if the stream kind of dies, or if I'm not having a good time in the game, um, or I just get super tired, um, because midnight is kind of late, you know, I, I'll call the stream early. Um, but I do always at least stream for about two to two and a half hours, no matter what. Um, and I stream a variety of games over on the Twitch uh, most of them are first-person shooter games or shooter games in general. Um, they have streamed Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, uh, Grand Theft Auto V Online, uh, Destiny. All game, all of those games, I'm a real big fan of. Um, there are games that I like solely because my friends play them and I have a good time playing with them. That's kind of like the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Um, but Destiny, I'm a big Destiny fanboy, um, so I'm really excited for Destiny 2. The beta comes out in a little over a month, I think like a month and two days. Um, 
from the time of this recording. So that's kind of exciting. Um, I'll, I am getting an early access beta invites because I pre-ordered the game. It's not like a, I'm a special YouTuber thing or anything like that. Anybody that pre-ordered the game has uh, beta access. So um, I'm curious to see what they're going to change for that. You know, we already kind of know some stuff, but Bungie's always going to keep, any game developer is always going to keep some stuff under wraps until like right before release or for people to discover upon release. So, oops. Kind of curious as to what those changes might be. Um, also been playing and streaming a ton of Grand Theft Auto online recently um it's kind of been my like go-to game for both fun time and streaming um as I'm, uh, I'm short how many am i short six okay this is fine this is fine we just have to make a trip back over to the regular base Am I short six or am I short eight? Short six, okay. So we're just gonna fly back over to the regular base and make some more. Um, actually, I might, let's just grab some more wood just to be on the safe side. Just to be safe. All right, one more tree. Bam, bam. Eat some food. I'm going to drink some liquids here in a bit, too. My character's getting thirsty. But, um, yeah. So, like I was saying, I've been playing a ton of GTA Online. They actually recently, just a few days ago, released a new free DLC for the game. Actually, the same day that ARK released a free DLC, that is this map. That we're currently playing on um and i ha already have like i've played the game so much i played gta so much in my free time um and during the stream that i have everything from that dlc unlocked and like done already so um yeah it's gonna there's gonna be kind of a lull i think in the gaming world until fall at this point there's gonna be some demos coming out during the spring but there's no real like major titles that I know of anyway, that are slated to come out this summer. Um, there was probably going to be some indie games, some smaller developers coming out with stuff, but most of the big titles um, that were announced at E3 or had more stuff brought to light at E3, they're all releasing in the fall. Um, I know Ark uh, Wildcard announced that they're actually going to do a big full release the game's not going to be in early access anymore, like this fall, again. And they're going to have, like, collector's editions and things like that. Um, where you get, like, real-life stuff, like books and, and things of that nature. And it comes in, like, a chest type thing. Um, super neat. Uh, I, I, I don't feel the need to spend the money on it. And... It'll be interesting to see if Wildcard thinks that uh, they can, they'll be able to now charge people like $60 for this game versus their early access amount. Um, I would hope not. Because honestly, this game going from being early access to a full release, quote unquote, um, I mean, not much is going to change. I don't think their player base is going to increase very much. Uh, it might on console, you know, with like a, if they start running ads and things like that. But I think as far as PC goes, anybody that has been curious about ARC is already playing it or has played it at some point in time. Um, so I'm going to full release. I don't think it's going to net them much as far as like uh, sales go, but we'll see. I could be entirely wrong. I am not a game developer, nor am I all that inclined with the business end of things, so.
I'm going to be one short. I might have pulled a stupid. I pulled a stupid. I need way more than six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Now I need six. I needed 12. Derpity derp. Derp derp. Derp. No, I can't fly out that. It's okay. We'll fly back. We'll grab more stuff. Uh, frame rate drop. No bueno. Not sure why there's frame rate drop. It's not one thing, it's another recently with my PC. It's been kind of acting up. So I'm not sure why I'm noticing a, a frame rate drop here. Hopefully the whole video wasn't like this and I apologize if it was. Um, yeah, unfortunately I don't have the time to undo everything I've already done. And redo it. Let's just make all 10 of those. Just in case I derped and didn't count right again. And this is probably going to be a little bit shorter of an episode too. Um, took a lot of setup time actually. I didn't think that it was going to take me four hours to find a Dodicarus and tame it and bring it back to my base, but it did. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, it's insane. I mean, I did I did get an RG out of it as well, so I guess there's that, but still it shouldn't have taken this long. This map is ginormously huge, um, which is nice, but the bad side of that is that there's the same amount of dinos on the map. It's to just spread out more. Um, so sometimes finding what you're looking for is tough. Like, I wasn't being super picky with the Dodicarus that I was going for. Um, I only wanted one that was, like, mid-level or higher. And I ended up setting, settling for one that was below mid-level. And I even ended up hitting it a few times after it went down. So it even had less... Um, it had less levels than, than even a mid-level, or less than mid-level. Had. So I think it was like a, it was a sixty, and mid level on this server is it would be would be seventy five, um. So, kind of kind of disappointed in that, but you know at this point it's kind of like, I need one, so I just tamed it, you know, um. And as far as the layout of this crafting area goes, I don't like how the light like switches. I really hope that wildcard when they when they actually do a full release, quote unquote. I really hope they don't think that this is good enough. Let's just put that there. All these snap together now. Okay. I mean that's the thing. So let's do one of these, and one of those, and one of these. I wonder if they snap together this way too. Bam. They do. There we go. So, eventually I'll have the S-plus vaults down. I just want to get some storage down in the meantime. Crafting station, smithy, worm pestle, refining forge, simple torch, and beds. There we go. So, yeah, it looks like and the FPS is fluctuating. Not in the game. My FPS in game is sitting around 55 right now. But my recording right now is at 30, which is fine. 
but sometimes it's dropping down to like 17, and that is not fine. That is not fine with me at all. I know likey that. So, I know the other day my audio levels were all weird, and today my FPS is all weird. I'm hoping this isn't like the the death throes of my PC because I cannot afford to fix it at this time if it breaks. Kind of like living on a prayer, not the Bon Jovi style. Um, that's good enough. mortar and pestle on top of that. This is going to be a big empty room basically right now with like some with some beds in it. Um, but this is just to kind of get started. Um, bed number one. And then, geez, let's see here. Bed number two. And bed number three. There we go. Now oh, it's like a, a Hawaiian king size bed. Green bed, more drawn. In bed. Morb torn? No. No. There we go. And rename bed. Morbtron. There we go. Three Morbtron beds. And we still have some walls and a few ceilings left over and some window sections left over. This is the start of the tower build. And it's got a different shape to it. I didn't want to go with like a hexagon uh, like I have in the past and a lot of people have done in the past. Um, so I thought that something like this would look pretty neat in like a conventional skyscraper type design um, with the entrance off on one side. So I'll have some spiral staircases going up somewhere go to the next level that was like maybe some flyer storage and then above that be kind of like the uh the penthouse if, if you will um where the real bedroom will be might have some more storage up there some more um trophies things of that nature but that is going to be it for this episode so like i said if the fps was kind of wishy-washy Throughout the episode, I do apologize. Um, I'm going to try to look into it here after I'm done recording. Um, test some things out. Do some driver updates and rollbacks. Things of that nature. Um, do some diagnostics on the PC. Hopefully it all checks out right and I just have some settings that reverted. Um, which happens occasionally with the recording software I use. But um, like I said, that is going to be it for the day, guys. So if you liked the episode, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, do in the comment section down below. Do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.